Hey guys, it's Stefan from Performance Fuel Injection here. I uh, just wanted to do a video on an issue that seems to be plaguing the aftermarket racing parts industry right now, and uh, that is counterfeit fuel injectors. Uh, whether they be Bosch, as they are in this case, uh, Siemens Deca or Denso, uh, the counterfeiters seem to be going after all of all of the big big guys as they uh, gain popularity in the aftermarket. Um, these were sent in to us from a customer who purchased them online for his turbo Honda build. Uh, when they arrived, he uh, looked into it a little more and found out they were not an authentic Bosch product. So he donated them to us to do a PSA on and help raise awareness for other people so that they don't make the same mistake. Um, these ones in particular are modeled after a Bosch compress, compressed natural gas injector, 160 pound an hour, 1680 cc a minute, um, or 1650 cc a minute, 1600 cc a minute, depending on who's, who's marketing them. Um, Bosch part number 02801508428842. So there's a few things that are glaringly obvious to us um, upon opening these up. Uh, quality issues. First of all is the paint. You can see that the black paint on the body of the injector is not uniform throughout and in fact if you look closer, which you won't be able to see in this video, the actual um, uniformity of the metal on the injector body is uh, is lacking also. Uh, the second thing that stands out to us is the quality of plastic used to mold the pintle caps and the spacers. The color is off uh, and uh, it's just not up to authentic Bosch standards. Uh, the third and most concerning thing to me is the orifice itself. Um, if you go to facebook.com slash performance fuel injection uh, we are going to be posting uh, some quality pictures and more detailed stuff on what to look for um, we wanted to do a video so that we could test the flow and and spray pattern and such. But uh, the most concerning to me is the is the uniformity of the orifice itself. It's they're slag, um, they're not concentric, and they differ from injector to injector. Um, so I suspect that that will affect the spray patterns. So we're going to throw them up on the rack right now. Check the spray pattern, check the static flow, and check the dynamic flow. Okay, so we've got the injectors up in the viewing window now. Uh, I'll run a test here so we can see what the spray patterns are doing. So it looks like number three is the narrowest, with number one and four being kind of a medium cone, and number two is clearly the widest. Uh, it's not terrible, but it's not ideal. So we will move these down to the volume test portion, we'll run a static flow test to see what that yield. Okay, so we've got them down on the volume portion test here. Uh, we're going to run the test at 3 bar, uh, 43.5 psi. And this is a 3 second test just so we don't overfill the tubes. Okay, so you can see that after these settle, looks like the lowest flowing injector is 71.2 and uh, the highest flowing is 79. So that's a difference of a little under 8 mil.